decided we're going to work them and just see who's got what and make a pen of ones that we're going to have to deal with and uh, what do you have to do for it? What is it? What do you have to do for it? Flew them in. Um, there's two or three different things that could be. Um, we you know, just start with catching them, checking them, making sure there's nothing stuck in the foot. Like they step on an nail or rock. Or that it's warm to the touch. But it's hot. It's not swollen. Stuff like that. I'm going to give them a shot of LA-200 and see if that helps them. Um, if that helps if they sprained it, if they uh, got foot rod, it'll help. If they have a fescue foot, it'll help. It helps a lot on their feet. Um, so we start with that, and then if that doesn't work, then... We call the that. <laughs> yep, pretty much. So, um, this time of year, what do we think it is? Uh, right now, Obviously foot rod's it's hot. Bad. Because it gets so dry and then it gets wet and then it gets dry and wet. And when we say dry, it's like drought conditions were 16 inches under the na- our normal rainfall. And then it comes down and it will be four or five inches of standing water on the pasture. Uh-huh. That's not good on that feet. Uh-uh. So. Anyway, and sorry for podcasting during lunch, but we normally just snack, but it's lunchtime in it. Yeah, but we need the rain, so we can't really complain. I know. All right, so that's in the barn stalls. Anything else going on in the barn stalls? How's the no. horses doing? Good. How's Kavayu doing? Have you even worked with him? Hit and miss. Why not every day? I don't know. I just haven't had time. How many are you working out there? 
five, six. Who isn't getting that? Dirt, star, mm -hmm. and combined. Right. Which mom's gonna have to put her foot down and get him on those because star needs to be finished. She needs to be roped and she can rope as well as the rest of them, but he just doesn't want to take the time to start her. Huh. You'd have another roping horse to practice on if you get star going. Dirk, we don't know what he's gonna do. And provide you. I haven't finished losing my weight, so and he's got saddle and everything on him, we just have to mount him, huh? Yep. But is he mountable right now? Uh, How come? Uh, I don't know. He's in forward. He's mountable. RJ's already bounced in the stirrups and stuff. You just would have to take it slow and he's ready to be stepped on, I think. Don't you, son? Why? I don't know. That's what Hmm? I don't know. Byron owes you hours, doesn't he? Half an hour. No? Take it out there and tell Byron. Byron, you just need reinforcements. Right? Who's Byron? Refresh your memory. The Mustang Heritage Foundation guy. Mm -hmm. And he lives not too far from here. And RJ was working for him for a little bit. Why'd you stop working for him? I've been working for other people. Hmm? I've been working for Justin. Yeah, I'll go back to doing that. Anyway, okay, so is that all in the barn stall? There's a hole in my cup. Do you realize? Get your do you realize? Own There's a hole in my cup. There's something on the bottom. <laughs> I don't sit down. From. Okay. There's a hole in my cup. There's Is that all for in the bar installed? No. I just show them how the puppies are getting. Come here, guys. Well, Wilbur, Carl. Carl. Yeah. Let's go. Are you Carl or Wilbur? That's Wilbur, first Wilbur. off, and he's too big to do that with anymore. Okay, so. Yes, he's sitting on my leg up there. Yep. Hold him up there and show him. He's got he's gotten big. Huh? Well, we can't hold him sideways so he can fit in turn. What you doing, Wilbur? That's Wilbur. There we go. Now he's all in. <laughs> How much do you think he weighs? He's bigger than Moose now. So is Carl. Yep, they probably Carl. doubled in weight. Carl has an issue. What is Carl's issue? What doesn't he have on? A call or... Okay, so tell us the story about You're this You're not a collar. real dog. You're a naked dog. He's a naked dog, but... And he chewed up his collar. Well, we don't Just know if he did or Wilbur did. Well, he got it in his mouth yesterday. I was going to say, the other day, I come in here, and he had his collar around his neck and up through his mouth like a bit, huh? Don't lick me. Don't you do it. They are definitely very yappy dogs, which I'm pretty sure that's from a husky, you know, because they both are rrr, 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 rrr. And jit chat and hold rrr, 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 rrr. Come here, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Wilbur. Down, Carl. Oh, I was going to have both of them. Oh. But they're probably mid, mid shin high you now, right? There's one. Okay. So here's one, and as you can tell, it's getting big. And they're only what three months old not even three months old oh. so yep who's like that wilbur i've got carl you have carl but anyway you can tell it's gonna be a big one <laughs> okay yes they're gonna be big dogs um three months old he's trying to put his head on my shoulder i can't even hold two of them anymore you can tell i did somebody's got my necklace <laughs> That'd be Carl. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look, come here. Uh, okay, so somebody's butt's falling off. Help me with the other butt. But I did have them to where they... I got Carl's butt. <laughs> yeah. I did have them where they snuggle me like this. But the problem is, is that... They got too big. Yeah, they're, they're just too big. I don't have enough arms. 
And if you look, Wilbur is the bigger of the two, and he is the snuggliest. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Carl. Hmm. Alright, go back to him. And so his butt it. is fall. <laughs> his butt is fall. Love him. But he's down they for are, the count. They're, they're a good size. So all that's left of him is two feet. I think the problem, the reason they were so small when we got them is how full they were of worms, huh? You He's playing the drums with Carl's down. back feet. Carl's laying on his lap, but I didn't tell. He's they're pretty big now. They're getting better. Yes, they eat a lot, don't you? Oh, one, two, three, four. Wilbur looks at him like, "What the heck are you doing?" Will you quit. Carl's like, "I'm tired of being up to death." Okay, so they are getting big, and that's a good thing. Down, down, down. Come on, Wilbur. There you go. You little flea bags. How are they getting along with the goat? They're huh. scared to death. But that keeps them from chasing, right? How's Jethro react to him? Not so good. But that will change if they get bigger. He just does not like puppies. Um, also, he doesn't like anything to be honest. He just. <coughs> he has to be used to it. Okay, so. Oh, I don't even. He still hasn't even got used to me. Uh, yeah. Jethro still. <laughs> he raises his lip at RJ if RJ makes him mad. All right, so we also have an offer on the table of something else that we're considering. What do you think? First off, tell them what it is. It is. Oh, D-O-G, folks. Do you know what that spells? D-O-G. D-O-G. We're going to guess another D-O-G, possibly. Okay, so why are we looking at this? OG. Well, this DOG is a special DOG. Okay, so there she is. Her name is Kate. Um, this DOG. There she is. Here she is with her buddy. Alright, so this DOG, I'm trying to do the glare, which is not helping. They can see it. You guys can see it, right? Uh, if you can see it, say yes right now, please. We're we'll <laughs> waiting. Listen. Oh yes. She's that one right there. All right, Let's and she's a border see. collie, right? Yeah. All right. So what's with this border collie? Um. What she norm What does she normally run with? Goat and sheep and chickens and goats and. Ooh, big dog. Had a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still in stuff. And why is she thinking about coming here? Because they got rid of their dope. Well, they were forced to downsize. Um, his knows? friends live on the edge of town. They've been grandfathered in. And the city's been giving them fits. And yes, they can win. Do they want to fuss with it? No. no. Um, she's got like 40-some goats. She's got about seven acres out there on the edge of town or near the edge of town. And I don't even think she was in town when she got it, and they annexed it in or something. I'm not sure, but little Kate is now lost without so many goats. And we have goats and sheep, and she knows that I need something to keep these two in line and help Jethro. Kate is four years old, correct? Correct. And she's had a little training, herding and, and keeping stuff rounded up. She's a border collie, so... We're thinking on it. Um, thinking we're supposed to go DOG. meet her, but it'll probably be what Monday night before we get to go meet her. Probably. I have a nap first. I get cranky. He's always cranky. All right. Mending fences. What all do we have to do today? Well, a nap is on the first thing. No, the what's been our problem? Come on. The goats keep getting out. How do they keep getting out? They're like deer. They just go spooling. Nobody can hear you with that. Why not? It's awesome to my okay, voice. But nobody can hear you. If you can hear me, better we, now. We, we really need your microphone, because then you could put it up there and you could do That'd that. That'd be awesome. Anyway, all right, so what are our goat issues? Do not pop me with my own hair tie. I'll beat you. Come on. Um, the goats keep getting out and getting in the front yard. They've eaten two of my trees again. My peonies. A bunch of stuff they shouldn't. Uh-huh. So, 
What? They're like little gears. They just run and jump. They do. They started jumping it. Um, what pen are we going to fix to put them in? This front pen over here. It's just a milk goats too, isn't it? We're in the one back on her anchor. Mm-hmm. Just anchor her in. Yep. Uh, that would be Holly. So, um. Keep the leader in and they will all stay. Actually, Sweetie's the one who's always out and Leighton follows her. So, kind of scary. But, okay, I'm going to see that show this. We are now videoing Lydia G. He's there sound asleep. Oh, no, nah, he's looking right up. Yeah, but he would be if you quit. See? He's going to fall asleep. This one cracks me up because he lays with his two feet stretched out straight. But, anyway, they're sleeping. We're back. Let's wake up the sleeping babies. Let's not. And so good. Let's not. So. You're not a sleeping baby. Come on, what else do I have to do? Um. We've got to reclaim the barn. Claim the barn. Um, how many bales of hay have you brought in so far? 700, 800? There's 600 and some in there, and then you brought in 255, right? So 686, 686, 986, 986 so 900 and some. So, yeah. Getting there. We've still got one more section to go, correct? Yes! And then I'm buying 10 bales, round bales, correct? Yes. Alright, so that's kind of in the um, fields, but we'll get to it. So we got to mend fence, reclaim the barn, I think that's it for the rest of the stuff. We, we have to move podcast. The pig. Yeah, we have to move the pig and we're podcasting. That was our list for the radio Yep. Yep, so the pig still has to be moved. We're down to three, folks. Well, you roped. I went and got instruction from Beth, right? And I have to know how to do that. Yep. So, we better hurry it up and get through this. It's been right, 18 minutes that we've by. gotten... No, we've gotten through uh, just the mending fences. So, our right, in the yarn farm. Mr. T came out and brought us some presents. Uh, we can get those little tools. Ooh, so it's it's kind of in the yarn Just bring the little bag over. She found these things for us, and Mr. T is our um, young farmer recipient. And when he was out and about, they found these cute little things, and she got us a bunch of little set of rakes in that. And I'm going to do a linseed oil um, pot. Oh, and there's a little shovel. See, and I think she got us. Just all kinds of sets. See, there's a little spade, a little shovel, a little rake, and they're all different colors. And the thing is, they're metal, folks. They're metal with wooden handles. And she said she got them really cheap. So, um, oh, there's a shovel, there's a spade, these are rakes. And she got us a, a wide assortment of them. Oh, it looks like we got four rakes and three of everything else. So, that's good. But the young farmers will love those down in the garden. And that is Teddy on uh, thing. I'm going to uh, put a little pot and put, you know, donated by young farmer recipient Teddy on. And we're going to put sand in it so they can put that in it and get it boiled up. Right? Yes. But that's for another day. Um, all right. Uh, what else we got? Snack time. I mean, some chocolate chips. All right. Um. No, they're more souls. They're not chips. They're more souls. Anyway. Ooh. Uh. Gotta get my groove on. Yes, let's get this. Twenty minutes. Still haven't gotten any further. People are need bored. You're bored. That's why you act like this, because you're bored. So come on, let's get it. Alright, let's get go. Get with it. So, in the fields, we talked about the hay, right? I haven't been down to the garden. 
kind of had a full plate. Correct? Yeah, we're going to bail garden next week. Um. Oh, have you seen it, folks? It's like as tall as this table. I mean, it's... No, I'm going to get my boards. Uh. I had a lot going on in the farmhouse, huh? Yeah. You've been doing your uncle's chores because your cousin is doing what? She uh, kind of needs prayer, doesn't she? Yeah. She's got scar tissue. They're assuming that it's building up and pushing against her organs. So she went out to Arizona to a Mayo Clinic out there to see if they could figure out why it's doing it and a treatment plan. Um, she's 18. Just graduated high school in May. So, um, sister has her mother-in-law in the hospital with a double bypass surgery, right? I have a root canal. What's up with you? He's holding it together because everybody else is gone. <laughs> oh, my leg. Oh, my leg. <laughs> All right, he's about to go out. If you've ever read Hank the Cow Dog, you know exactly what that means. He drove her anytime he didn't want to do anything. He just hollered, oh, my leg, my leg, and went to Lemon. Their dogs, head of security, cute books. If you've ever read them, you so need to get into Hank the Cow Dog books. They're funny. They're farmy. Um, anyway. Then, of course, I've been working. Correct. I love those dogs. I, I don't know if you can tell, but they are just, they're super smart, aren't they, son? So, they get a little carried away, but they're smart. Um, so, what else we going on? I can't think. I really can't. Um, I've been working, going to the dentist. Um, Mark has a dentist appointment next Wednesday. I don't have another appointment for a couple of weeks until my crown comes in. I have to have a root canal with a crown done. It's a back tooth and well. I want to, I want to be able to smile, All right? What's been going on with your roping? You need to get a gold tooth on like right here. You need a big gold tooth. No! You can do that. So, what's been going on with your open? Not a whole lot. Went and played in the mud last night. Yeah, didn't do any good in the mud, did you? Nope, didn't even have you off my horse. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> um, Got the buzzer on the one before that. And I'm not in the bull riding. That's not a good thing. <laughs> But you were blessed with some skid boots and bell boots that people didn't want to clean off. So RJ just put a box up there and said, you don't want to clean them, leave them here. Most of the pro guys will pull them off, throw them in the trash because they have sponsors that will replace them. And it's a lot of work cleaning them up, isn't it? Yeah. But not in Oklahoma because you leave them out in the sun to dry and then you just take them and all the dirt falls off, right? And their sponsors don't want them washing them because then they don't look white, they don't look clean, they yeah. want to have nice. So they just send the them sponsors send them new ones and stuff. So our dig gets free bell boots and skid boots, right? Yep. And you probably got what two sets of skid boots and two sets of bell boots. Mm -hmm. And how many ropes? Two. Bell boots are at least twenty bucks a pair. So that's forty dollars right there in bell boots. How much are the skid boots? Hundred bucks a pair. Yep. So that's two hundred and forty dollars plus the ropes, and that right there was more than his entry fee. So it paid to just do that for to clean them up. Um. Anything else? What are you doing? I forgot what my hat size is. Twenty-two inches. You sure about that? No, it's twenty-two and a half. No. Get them straight. Because you didn't have, you had it done wrong, but okay. Hang on. 
It's where the metal thing is. Point two and a quarter. <laughs> no. Anyway, doesn't matter. Dad must have a big head. My head's bigger than you. It's twenty one and a half. That's twenty and a half, twenty and a half. Yeah, that's why I have so much stuff crammed in there. Because I have a smaller head. Right? I'm going to just have a big head. An inflated ego. Um, alright, anything else that we've been doing? Pretty I heard much. a joke one time. This comedian said. Better be two, clean. Two guys had egos so big they couldn't walk through doors at the same time. They had to take turns. Or their heads would hit. Mm-hmm. Truth is, no two men can walk through the door at the same time. Right now. They're only like three foot wide. <laughs> Alright, anything else going on around here? Because these people are going to get bored. We are in the middle of haying season. We're tired. We're silly. Um, I did, in case you're wondering, know that it's not a new camera. I did dye my hair. I got rid of all the gray. Okay, honestly. I'm trying to give it back to turn. Just give me I didn't dye it, did I, son? No, we just locked off the water away. No, we didn't. Who dyed it? A girlfriend has two college girls, and yeah, I let them dye it. Got rid of all my gray, mm -hmm. right? It's a little more red than I really think I wanted. I wanted it a little more on the brown side, but that's you okay. picked it out. And, well, it's because you have those little samples, and it's like, what? You know, it looked more brown on the sample than it did. But hey, that's okay. Next, we're gonna dye his hot pink. Sure, and he's gonna rodeo like that. So anyway, and I also got it trimmed a little bit so that it looked healthier. So anything else, dude? Mm-hmm. What? That's just not right. Alright, I'm off of here. I will talk to y'all later. Unless RJ's going to stay and do something, which apparently I'm being forked. So, RJ, are you staying on camera or are you going? Goodbye. Coming? Going? I don't know. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs>